How do you prank a prankster? Problem with trying to get somebody like that is they've seen everything. They know when something's coming because all they do is look for opportunities to prank other people. I know this from personal experience. Tell me what you're doing right now. I am moving Jeremy's car so that he can it got towed. Now in the case of Daniel, Daniel's a very clever guy. Actually, he might think it got stolen, which would be even funny. Very, very smart guy. Now in order to get him, you have to think like a prankster. Get anybody is you have to go for what they love. What does he want out of life? What does he want? What can we toy with there? He just wants to be successful after he graduates. And he's a film editor. Film editor. And so he's film. really good. You go for what they love or what they want, and you use that against them. So maybe what we do should maybe involve that. Because even if they smell a trap, they're so drawn to what you're presenting for them, they're going to walk into it anyways. Hello, is this Daniel? Hi, your film professor gave me your phone number. I'm calling from DTAM Studios. Yeah, we're new. Daniel's case, he gets a call from some studio. Listen, my boss, Andrew, would like to meet with you. He gets to go on a set for some movie, and he gets to meet some guy he's never heard of, but sounds really interesting. He's excited to do this. How do you prank a prankster? What do you use? How you doing, Daniel? Good. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Daniel. <laughs> I heard a lot about you. I hear you're a great editor, but this is the real deal. Can you handle it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I promise this will be the biggest lesson of your life. Probably the most frightening thing in the world to me are clouds. Lots and lots of clouds. And so the trick is just, you know what somebody loves? Tease them with it, and they'll walk right in willingly.